Well, we all remember the food pyramid, and they taught us in grade school about it. Remember that little pyramid that we used yeah, to have? Yeah, we used to learn all about it in home ec. Yes, a mountain of grains at the bottom. Well, an acknowledgement today that the pyramid doesn't work. Isn't this amazing? Well, yeah, I mean, I guess it's not when you look at our obesity rates in our country and whether or not we're really following that. But when you look at the new pyramid, it's changed into the form of a plate. And actually, with that, we're seeing a lot more veggies, as you see right right there. So mm -hmm. uh, we want to tell you that the Obama administration is really kind of where this all started with First Lady Michelle Obama. Uh, and the new firm food pyramid is called My Plate and it has a lot of people weighing in really on this plate versus pyramid discussion. ABC's Lindsay Davis has more for you. After years of revisions and makeovers, it's official. The food pyramid is ancient history. So this circular plate will be the new standard in serving up square meals. Which one is easier to understand, the plate or the pyramid? The plate. plate. Consider it the non-pie chart pie chart, a dinner plate divided into four wedges for each of the basic food groups, fruits, vegetables, grains, and protein. The Obama administration, led by the First Lady, is hoping to reshape the American diet. And this is their latest stab at fighting obesity. 68% of Americans are obese or overweight. Simple enough for children to understand even uh, at the elementary school level. So we put her theory to the test. We asked this class of sixth graders to see if they could make their own plates based on the new guidelines. I probably wouldn't think about getting vegetables. For fruit, I got two pieces of pineapple and an entire apple. Not yeah. bad, which is important considering for children in this age group, 20% of them are obese. Sometimes I just eat like a lot of just one thing instead of having a variety of everything. Only one in four Americans eat enough fruits and vegetables. The fruit and vegetables will fill you up for sure. Chef Bill Telepan says you can eat healthy at home. And with this new visual aid, you can do it tonight. Everything in moderation, they say. So if you could, if you could eat like this a lot more than you do the other way, then you're, you're having a good start. One thing that's missing here. So the sweets, do you think you, you'll still put that on your plate though? Yeah, yeah. probably. Yep. There's only so much a plate awesome. can do. You can't cut everything out, right? No, absolutely not. <laughs> but there are some interesting changes there. Yeah. But hopefully, you know, our youth will understand, you know, what balance is all about. That's right. And hopefully these news changes will help combat obesity. That's mm -hmm. the big thing we're worried mm -hmm. about, right? Joining us now is registered dietitian Candace Dancho. Thanks for being with us. Thank you for having me. She's going to kind of help us understand the changes of the new food pyramid, right. my plate, and That's really exactly. what we need to do from here on out. That's right. Yeah. So when it comes to, so instead of having the pyramid, mm -hmm. we now have a plate. So so when it comes to these changes, what are some of the more dramatic changes that they've made and why? Mm -hmm. uh, well, a lot of the, the difference comes from obviously using the plate. Yeah. versus the Which pyramid. Which is fabulous because it gives you a real visual. Right, so it's so much easier for consumers to look at mm -hmm. yeah. and say, what should I be eating? Mm -hmm. So that's the one big change is that hopefully it's gonna be easier for everybody to know what to they understand. should be eating and right. putting on their plate. Yeah, yeah. I have uh, to say, you know, it's kind of like, don't, you know, instead of a pyramid, it should have always been a plate because that's how we eat. <laughs> well, we're not visual people, but now that we can see there, we, on the plate, you're really looking at more vegetables and that's the biggest change, right? We, we are now knowing that we want half of your fruit to be, or half of your plate to be fruits and vegetables. Yeah, okay. big difference exactly. there. But they've also reduced the amount of grains. Well, actually, the interesting thing is the new food plate does not mention portion size. Okay. Uh, other pyramids have focused on portion size, portion size, portion size. You must yep. get six to 11 servings of grain. You must get this much. This is just a quick visual guide for people to look at, and it does not specifically mention portion size. Yeah. Okay. It talks overall about reducing calorie intake, which prevents prevents obesity and overweight, which can, in the end, reduce yeah. chronic disease. So it, so do you think, and I don't mean to put you on the spot, but is that kind of a politics at work where we don't want to say eat less beef or eat less chicken or eat less, pro, you know, any of that. We just want to say eat more vegetables than you're eating now. Eat more vegetables while watching total calorie intake. The yeah. message is still there yeah. that you need to watch total calorie intake. Okay. Yeah. But not portion size. So it doesn't matter where you get your calories from, I guess, in a sense, because they don't really focus on portion size. There. Right. However, fruits and vegetables are lower calorie. They're going to fill you okay. up. More. So they're going to fill you up. They yeah. have more fiber. 
Walk us through some yeah. of these plates and show us what a real healthy meal should look like these days with this new pyramid. Okay. New um, plate. Actually, <laughs> okay. starting at breakfast, breakfast over okay. there, um, we've got the two egg beater vegetable omelet. Yeah. Uh, that's your, your vegetables. Which I have Half to say, if you do egg beaters, you're looking at mm -hmm. two, basically the equivalent of two eggs is 30 calories instead of 90 calories per with egg. egg. So yolk. Plus that's a huge cholesterol. difference. Right. So, you, so that's your protein. Yeah. And your vegetables. Then you've got your cup of melon, different melons over there for your fruit. Yep. Mm -hmm. Whole grain toast. The thing about grains is they are healthy. Whole grains are healthy. My plate, much as the My Pyramid did, encourages half of your grains to be whole, whole wheat. Grain. Okay, so yeah. that's where the change was when it came to the grains. Okay, so whole wheat there. Got it. Yeah. Now this is lunch right here. This is lunch. This is uh, one cup of vegetables. We've also got some peppers in there. Mm -hmm. An Asian chicken salad. Lean protein. Yeah, lean yeah. grilled protein and a little bit of almonds. And some carrots. And we've done it again for dinner as well, and where we're into that lean protein. Yeah, this is a little snack. Okay, this uh, is a snack. Okay. Some carrots, yeah. as fat well as dressing. the fat-free okay. dressing. Mm, let me get some carrots. What's up, Doc? Okay. 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 So what we're yeah. looking at here is breakfast, a little bit of snack, snack. Lunch, lunch, a little bit of snack, and, and we have dinner. dinner. And everything was very high protein, low fat. Lots of veggies, lots of fruits. Yes, lots of fruits and vegetables. Okay. Half the plate. All right. Okay. Well, we are out of time, but we thank yes. you, Candace, for being with us. We appreciate it. Okay. Thank, thank you, you for showing us my content. plate. Yeah. We'll, we'll have all the information on our website. Just go to abc15.com and click on the Lifestyle tab. A lot of you are sounding off on our Smart Family 15 Facebook page about the new and old pyramid. Does it work? Doesn't it work? And what should we really be doing? So let's jump online. That's exactly right. Well, Sarah Graham says, learning not to fill our bodies to the brim with food. A balanced diet won't work if you feel stuffed. Eat until you're not hungry, then stop eating. If you drink a lot of water, you won't need so much food. That's true. Right. And Nicole says, we didn't have that issue when I was a kid. At least I didn't think we did. We always played outside from morning till sundown. Rarely, we ate out. Mm. And Monica Brito kenny says, it's all about effort. Crap is convenient. Ooh, I like that one. And Hector says, I think the new way is better because it will make it easier for people to know what they should be eating daily. And Candace gives it a thumbs up. She's taking her hand. <laughs> so join in on the conversation. You can find us at facebook.com forward slash smart family 15.